Hello friends and enemies. Welcome back to Happy For Now. It's me as well here with the intro to this vlog. <laughs> if you clicked on the thumbnail or the title, you know I'm reading Six Trist Venom by Penelope Dove. I feel like I need to give you some context for this book because I have a fraught relationship with Penelope Douglas. I have enjoyed one of her books immensely and every other one has been not as good for me. Didn't enjoy Credence, didn't really like uh, Bully, I think I read by her or something like that, and Punk 57, didn't really like. So I decided to embark on the journey of reading Six Trist Venom. This is a buddy read with Tamika over at Tamika's library, so she will also have a video going up today that also features this book <laughs> and we'll be uh you know comparing thoughts and notes uh we both have different stances on Penelope Douglas I think she enjoyed some books I didn't like so who knows who knows how that'll go but uh yeah I really like Birthday Girl and I feel like that is like the standout Penelope Douglas book and it's very hard for people that like that book to read her other books because a lot of her other books are much more bully romance and a little more intense so I'm going into Trust Six Venom with a fresh open mind and no expectations and you know let's go ahead and start the vlog. I just wanted to give you some context to my history with Penelope. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. So I'm currently through chapter three, just chapter four just came on and I want to pause the book. Initial very early impressions of this one is I am liking it more than I liked Credence. It is set in high school, which is like not always my fave. Um, again, it's just sometimes hard at my age, like in your mid thirties to read about high schoolers. But this does have a lot of things I like. I do occasionally like a bully romance. I do also enjoy a lot of sapphic romances and I don't feel like there's a lot of sapphic bully romances so like I'm curious you know um initial impressions is that Olivia and Claire are very like not like other girlsy to me like both of them are and I'm curious to see where that's gonna go and how that's gonna work out for their relationship currently it's just them being mean to each other um Olivia is pretty interesting though I like that she's into theater and wants to like gender bend stuff and do all that which is always a fun time and just you know kind of over the rich kid shit which again makes sense totally logical um but yeah we'll 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 see where this goes initial impressions like i said i'm just like this is interesting i'm gonna keep listening i'm doing i slowed down the audiobook like i'm doing a very close listen to see if penelope douglas is still for, is for me at all anymore or if i'm done with her because if i don't like this one by her i think i'm done unless somebody convinces me otherwise that's where we're at right now um, I will, I have a live in a few minutes, so I'm going to go do that live. But then after that, I'm going to listen to more of the audiobook and see what I think a little bit later tonight of it. I'd like to get like at least a couple more chapters in. Hi, I am officially, where am I at on this book? Done with chapter eight. And I do, I'm curious by this story. Um, <laughs> I don't hate it and I don't love it. I'm very indifferent right now. I would like them to just go ahead and get like the hate fuck to happen, but I know we've probably got a little ways till that happens. I'm sure a little one of our main characters is 17 still, but it's set in high school. The other one's 18. So like I can kind of deal with it. Um, the bullying in this one is like interesting because it kind of makes sense. Not that like bullying ever makes sense, but Clay is like deeply jealous of Olivia's ability to not have to meet expectations that she has she feels she has to meet uh which makes sense but like it still doesn't make you know what I mean like it's still not like okay that she's being bullied <laughs> for this ability but it's really just an interesting um situation I am going to keep listening I am just under four hours left in this audiobook so I will be done with it later today hopefully I need I have to be um, and yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do that. I have to do some house cleaning and stuff. So I definitely have a ton of audiobook time. Sorry, Pisa's literally like knocking the camera around because she wants attention. So yeah, we're gonna focus on that. I will talk to you on a bit when I'm a little further, but so far I'm just kind of, you know, very, very curious to see where this is going. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. Okay, 
I have an hour and a half left. I need to come give some thoughts. So we're finally in the phase where like they're hooking up with each other secretly, of course. There's peas. Um, so they're hooking up with each other secretly and like trying to figure out things. Clay is definitely very like confused. Is she gay? Is she bi? What does she feel? Um, and Liv is just herself. And I, I really like Liv. I like her a lot as a character in this book. Clay, I find interesting because I do think like, obviously she has a lot of trauma, um, that I'm not going to go into here. I'll talk about it in the spoiler section, but yeah, like she has a lot of trauma and some of her reactions to her feelings make sense. She definitely didn't necessarily get raised in a way that she like learned to express feelings always, I feel like appropriately. Um, but yeah, it's, I'm, I'm liking this book and I'm confused that I'm liking it because let me tell you, if you told me I was going to like a Penelope Douglas bully romance, I would have told you were nuts and much less that it's sapphic. I would have been like, well, it would feel inaccurate in some way. No, she's nailing it. Now, I don't know Penelope's sexual identity. I just, from the other writing from Penelope I've read, she's not my fave. Um, like I said, I think she does some things really, really well and some things just, you know, I, I understand why people like her books. They're just usually not for me. And Tris Six Venom has been a great surprise so far and I really enjoyed it. So who would thunk? Who would have thought it? Cause I sure as heck wouldn't have. So yeah, I'm gonna keep on reading and I will be back to update you in a little bit when I'm probably done with the book. Um, but yeah, I've been cleaning the house today. So I have been trucking through it. I literally just sat down cause I mopped. <laughs> so that's always a fun time. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see where this goes. I'm very unsure of where this is actually headed to. So. I will be back in a little bit to update you on my final thoughts and close this vlog out. Hello, I've washed my face. I have finished Trist 6 Venom and I'm gonna give you like my initial end thoughts and I'm gonna sleep on it and I'm gonna come back and talk to you about it more in detail in the morning with a fresh brain. I liked it. I liked it way, 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 way more than I ever expected to. Like way more. I think I have a new favorite Penelope Douglas book, possibly. This surprised me. We did have a third act breakup, um, but it worked. It made sense. They overcame it. And we got a great epilogue that was five years later that I really appreciated because, again, they were 18. Like, I needed them in their 20s. And even if they don't last forever through that, that's fine. I just, it worked really well. Really, really well. We also got an HEA for Clay's parents, um, which I'll talk about that more in spoilers, but I did like the parents' presence in this book because I felt like the parental figures were more present than I've often seen in a lot of Penelope Douglas books. And Credence burned me on that one, so it was just nice to see this. I hope we're getting books for the rest of the boys, the rest of the Jaeger family, um, all of Liv's siblings, because I would love to read about them. Uh, they seem right up my alley, to be honest with you. And that seems like the dynamic I would want to read. So I'm left surprised and happy right now. But I want to sleep on it, come back with a final rating, and do a little spoiler chat to at the end of the video. So I will see you in the morning. <laughs> uh, and we'll talk about it then. All right. So it is the next day. Uh, I went to bed to think about this book for a little bit, sleep on it. And I've come away with a four star rating. I liked this book. I did not think I would like this book. I did not think bully romance would work for me, but here we are, it did. And it wasn't just because it's sapphic. I think the main reason the bully element worked for me in this is that I felt like they both were bullying each other, which might sound weird, but they really were both kind of the other's bully. And I enjoyed that part of it. Like I didn't feel like Liv was just letting Clay take advantage of her. I feel like Liv was giving it back just as much as she was getting it thrown at her from Clay. And I really, really enjoyed that aspect of it, honestly. I think this is was solid. Uh, I really liked where the story went. There is a third act breakup in this that I think made sense. Our characters needed time apart to figure out who they were and what they were willing to do to be with the person they loved and what that meant. Uh, so that worked really well for me. And I think at the end of the day, like it just was a pretty solid bully romance. I don't love most bully romances. So me liking this is really like throwing my brain off a little bit. 
Uh, but yeah, I'm really, really happy I read it and I enjoyed as much of it as I did. I'm hoping for more books about the Jaeger brothers, which are all of Liv's siblings. I also have no confirmation, but I would like to go find uh, an indigenous reviewer's opinion on this book because Liv is indigenous. She is, uh, she, they, it comes up some, it's not like a key plot point necessarily, but like it is mentioned for like some of the rich kids threatening to have their family take their land away. So that was like interesting to say the least. So I would love to know opinions and thoughts on that from someone who is indigenous and also if Penelope had sensitivity readers for that rep. Again, it's not like super in the book, but it's definitely there and I would just like a little more info on it. So I really liked the depth that we got out of Clay at the end of the book, by the end of the book, about who she is and how she's maybe not what you always expected for a rich girl. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna leave all the content warnings for this book in the description box because there's a lot and I feel like I'm gonna forget them if I try and list them right now. And I don't have my note go like, my note is not like on my phone, it's elsewhere. So do be sure to check those because there's a lot in this book uh, as far as content warnings go. It's definitely on track for most Penelope Douglases. I feel like she has a lot of content warnings in her books. So now I'm gonna do spoiler thoughts. So if you're leaving now, uh, I will say that you can go ahead and leave me a snake emoji in the comments. If you don't wanna leave me an emoji, feel free to tell me uh, if you think there's another book I should do a solo book vlog on like this or <laughs> or we have two on this one uh what penelope douglas book you love i'm very curious i feel like it's gonna be a lot of birthday girls in the comments so <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and switch to spoiler thoughts now if you've read the book or you don't care feel free to stick around and we're gonna discuss all the spoilery things i'm gonna throw up a text block here with me talking so i'm giving y'all like a couple seconds to leave all right <laughs> now that our friends are gone who don't want to be spoiled y'all are cool what's up spoiler club <laughs> Let's talk about my spoiler thoughts on <laughs> Trust Six of Venom. I'm just gonna kind of go on a tangent here because I have like, not a ton, but I have some spoilery thoughts to talk about and I don't wanna like ruin the book for anybody. So first of all, I wanna talk about Clay's parents. I found the secondary plot point in this book around her parents' romance to be very interesting. Her dad has been kind of cheating on her mom and her mom has been drowning herself in pills and other things to deal with the death of their child who had leukemia, their youngest. I honestly loved the secondary plot line and how the secondary plot line was them coming back together at the end so they still got their HEA and it just made me so happy because I think a lot of times in books we add that sort of drama and then just rip them apart still uh, especially when it's a secondary plot line so having that be a main plot point and also still like a constant was magnificent and I really really loved it so <laughs> Yeah, there's that spoiler thought. The next spoiler thought I have is that I really hated part of the third act. I absolutely despised the end with the frat boys. I don't think it needed to be there. I think we could have just like tidied that up another way. Um, I didn't love Liv having to be kidnapped and like kind of forced into a shitty situation, but I did like Clay like rescuing her and being able to like show that she does love Liv. Um, in her own way but like it just was so annoying i also was slightly annoyed at how long it took for them to like come together fully and realize that like oh yeah we both really like each other yeah i just felt like it took a little bit of time the other thing i really liked was the discussion that clay had with her parents about being queer and like identifying as a lesbian we had some great moments there because they were like yeah we kind of always suspected but we were just gonna let you tell us when you were ready because you had pictures of like selena gomez on your wall and not the boy bands like all your friends did and we just were like oh, okay that's fine and we're like ready to accept that of her um and she was so scared that they wouldn't and i love the way in which they did accept it like it was very precious in my opinion that they were just like yeah we were we were ready for you to tell us whenever you were ready and we we don't care we love you anyways and i was just like yes more of this in books it totally makes sense that a 18 year old's gonna be nervous about coming out to their parents uh especially someone like clay who has set up all these expectations for herself so I really enjoyed that aspect. I also think it was interesting how we talked about her like kind of forcing herself to be straight or visibly straight to her friends and people when in reality like she hated kissing boys and she didn't have any interest in hooking up with them or anything and I think that was a really well done plot point. 
I also thought that the way in which her best friend helped her and Clay come back together was perfection because I think Clay obviously had a lot of nerves about who in her life would and wouldn't accept her as a queer woman um, and what that would mean for her and her friends. And like one of her friends, Christian is her name, really stepped up and delivered. And I really loved that part because I think often we get in our own heads too much about what other people will think. And it can be hard to lose people because of an identity. But I also think at the end of the day, if somebody doesn't want to be your friend because of an identity, they were never your friend in the first place. So there's that. Uh, overall, yeah, I really, really liked this. Um, let me know if you have spoiler thoughts, feel free to bury them in a comment. I can like, I'll pin a comment and you can be like spoilers here. Uh, so anybody that wants to avoid them can't. But yeah, I just, it was really surprised by this, to be honest. After Credence, I just don't expect a lot from Penelope Douglas. And that sounds really mean, but Credence burned me. Burned me real bad. Maybe it burned me because of how people talked about it, but it was not great. So there's that. Anyways, thank y'all so much for hanging out with me. That's my spoiler thoughts. I will catch y'all in the next video. Bye.